Hi guys, welcome to Exploding Chemistry by Teacher Susan. How do you feel today? Let's start our class with the explanation for dative bond in ammonium chloride. Alright, now let's look at how do we form the dative bond in ammonium chloride. Ammonium chloride appears as a white film when ammonia gas react with hydrogen chloride gas. Both ammonia gas, which is NH3, as well as hydrogen chloride gas HCl are both covalent compounds. How these two covalent compounds react and form an ionic compound of ammonium chloride? And how many dative bonds can we form in this ammonium chloride? So in, uh, before we can start that, first thing to do is we are going to draw the Lewis structure of ammonia as well as hydrogen chloride. Okay, I will start by drawing the Lewis structure of ammonia. Whereby in ammonia, we have one nitrogen. Nitrogen is found in group 15. Therefore, it has five valence electron. Hydrogen, each of them will have one valence electron when they form a single covalent bond with nitrogen. This is what the Lewis structure of ammonia is. So from this Lewis structure, we can see actually there is one pair of lone pair. This is the lone pair. Now as we move on to hydrogen, okay, sorry, hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride, what we can see here is H and Cl. Okay. So this is the Lewis structure of ammonia gas and this one is the Lewis structure of hydrogen chloride. Well, as you can see here, hydrogen atom share one electron with the chlorine atom, therefore hydrogen achieve doublet, chlorine achieve octet. When these two molecules come across, when they combine and come across, they will further do a chemical reaction. In this chemical reaction, first thing, the hydrogen atom from hydrogen chloride will be attracted to the lone pair from ammonia gas. So what happens is that when this hydrogen atom from hydrogen chloride attracted by the lone pair but from this nitrogen atom from ammonia, immediately they are going to form a cation like this. Let's see. This is the part whereby you will get from the ammonia, and now hydrogen atom from hydrogen chloride just now leave its only one valence electron and attract to the lone pair of the nitrogen in ammonia. The moment when this hydrogen is attracted to the lone pair, okay, I will still label it here. Okay, what happens is that once they are attracted, immediately this one is going to form into ammonium ion. Why ammonium ion? The reason when hydrogen atom from hydrogen chloride leave this structure, this hydrogen will become positively charged. So it carry no electron, no electrons outside the outermost shell. So it is actually coming in as an cation. So this cation come in, react, okay, react with the ammonia molecule immediately they will form into ammonium ion so what happened to the chloride the chlorine just now chlorine initially they memang have seven valence electron so when the hydrogen leave chlorine they are leaving the one and only electron so this chlorine atom will turn into a chloride carrying a charge of 
negative one. So when this happen, okay, in your ammonium chloride, we actually can see a formation of cation as well as a formation of anion. So when you have cation and anion attracted by the strong electrostatic force, they are going to form a stable ionic compound. So now in this ionic compound of ammonium chloride, where is our dative bond? So bear in your mind, dative bond is formed when a lone pair is shared by the only one electron. Sorry, the only one atom. So the only one atom that can share electron here is nitrogen. We can see the lone pair contributed by nitrogen. So this is the part whereby they are going to form the dative bond. Alright? Okay? So I hope you understand how the formation of dative bond in ammonium chloride. As an ob observation, ammonium chloride will appear as a white film. When concentrated ammonia react with concentrated hydrogen chloride. Yes. And here I will say thank you to all of you for your attention. Alright guys, thank you for your attention once again. Stay safe at home, drink more water and see you guys again. Bye!